Hopefully November, feeling slightly cooler out there. Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins also joining us live from the Epperson Lagoon for tonight's Community Connection. Okay, Bobby, best assignment of the night here. Dude, somebody's got to do it, you know? And so I threw myself in front of the bus. I said, I'll come out here and stand in this beautiful lagoon. We're out at the Epperson neighborhood here in Pasco County. In fact, this is the Epperson Crystal Lagoon. Seven acres of beautiful blue water. All of the chairs behind me, they've got a 30 foot slide. They've got cabanas. They got floating cabanas. It's incredible. And it's all around the Epperson neighborhood. Uh, so you can see there's a bunch of houses you can see off in here in the distance in just a little bit. But right now I want to talk a little bit about the weather. Now normally we do our community connections. We come out and I talk about your evacuation zone. Well, you know what? Wesley Chapel, we don't have that. We don't have to worry about it. So if you live in an evacuation zone near the coast, you want a friend here. And I would highly suggest somewhere right around here so you can come spend a hurricane evacuation right here. What I thought I'd do is talk about planting zones, growing zones because of the cold air that we can get once in a while here in Florida. So this is a map of the state and really you want to watch. We'll go a little bit closer here and look where Wesley Chapel is and we're kind of on the cusp of a couple different zones. And basically what that means is that we can get some freezing temperatures here. Now on average, and this kind of threw me off a little bit, but on average we see about three days a year of temperatures below freezing. And that's not a lot. Uh, the first day, St. Leo, we use that because that's pretty close to Wesley Chapel. The first time we tend to see a freezing temperature here is December 29th, the last time, January 29th. So if you just moved here, yeah, you got a month where we might see some freezing temperatures, but those are averages. You go back to, uh, what was it, 2011. Yeah, 2011, we had 17 days below freezing. Ah, the average again is three. Beautiful out there right now. Blue skies, drier air, nice breeze as well. This is our visit, tampabay.com camera. Look at that. Awesome out there today. And temperatures will continue to cool for the evening hours, but we'll keep the clear skies. That's going to be for sure what we're going to have. So I'm really excited about that. Now, the dew points dropped. Those numbers are well down now into, it looks like, basically the 40s and 50s. Some areas will get even less than that. And now you might have to fast forward that for me. It looks like it's kind of st stuck on the same graphic here. Uh, but 76 degrees, that's comfortable. Now, most areas you can see here are in the lower 70s, and they will continue to cool down through the 60s. I'm thinking 50s most locations for tonight, so we've got a little ways to go here. The wind's up. It's not terrible, but it's a little bit on the breezy side, and in fact, we'll kind of keep that as we go through the evening hours. Look at these dew points. That's that really nice dry air that's out there that makes it feel so comfortable. And of course, along the coast, even by the water, we still have the dry air, so it's going to feel really nice out there. Now, those winds, 10 to 15 with gusts in the 20s now. We keep those through tonight and through tomorrow as well. Kind of, and probably part of Thursday, or excuse me, say Friday as well. So a little breezy. Uh, you can see our satellite and radar, that doesn't really have too much to show you. The frontal boundary is all the way down now to the south. And so high pressure up to the north will take over and we're just having just delightful weather for the rest of the work week. So let's get into the forecast. Here we go. Down through the 70s into the 50s for tonight. Tomorrow morning, yeah, northern Pasco, Hernando, Citrus, look at the 40s. Mid to upper 40s in our cool spots, most areas low to mid 50s. Bus stop tomorrow, they're going to need a little bit of a jacket out there. Tomorrow afternoon, we're getting closer to 80. We'll be in the upper 70s. I mean, look, if you like it warm, tomorrow's a great day for that. Uh, boating is not so good because of the wind, of course. We have small craft advisories, and it'll be rough out there on the bay. Tropics, let's talk about it real fast as I stand here in a nice, quiet lagoon. One little area to watch, it's this Invest 97L. They have been lowering the chances for development over the last 24 to 36 hours, only up to about 40% at this point now. Here's the key. It will move westward. That's the thought now. The GFS was taking this thing and looping it and taking it right back up towards Florida, Cuba, perhaps. It doesn't look like that's going to happen right now. So there it is. There are the temperatures starting to warm back up. You can see by the weekend, I'm thinking mid 80s for highs, but the dew points will stay relatively low. That's a good looking seven day for this time of the year. Get outside and enjoy it. Maybe come on up here to the Epperson Lagoon and enjoy uh, some nice cool drinks by the cool water. It's about mid 70s here in the water right now.